So I'll just read you the entrance that we did from week one. This is week four. We can just go on the open card game. This is Irish card. So I always want to make my grips before I open my legs. Because if I don't and I don't cross my legs, card can immediately start working as a passing. So I want to have a sleeve. So rather than putting my feet on the mat, feet on the car, I'm going to move my body back to create space so I can bring the knee inside and then we're looking for this one. This is the arm I've been attacking. So I've made roadblocks, I have two feet on the hips, the left hand's on the shoulder and I put my foot on the shoulder and then we talked about on week one these pressures. So Basically, I'm pushing with my feet, hitting with my hands. I'm trying to make sure that I have my car's elbow away from his body, away from his foot, away from his knee. But also, I'm putting tension in his body by pushing with this leg okay, on his bicep to kind of get the support position. And again, um, from here, I can show you on the guard passing. I'm going to grip on the inside of my pants. I'm going to show you how to break that. I'm shooting my leg through and I have to go to But sometimes, from here, when he gets that inside grip, he immediately might jump to his feet to hit that cut cross pass here. Okay? And he's very nearly there, even though I've got a, like a roadblock here. If Carl manages to get upper body grips with this hand here, I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm going to get past my guard. Again, trying to um, cut that down or put roadblocks in his way. Hip grips, feel his hips, leg space, elbow our knee inside, and I want the open elbow on the arm that I'm attacking, so I get this inside. Foot on the bicep, and again I have my tension, so I'm pushing with my feet, pulling with my hands. Carl maybe gets this grip, which I don't want, I can break that, but let's just say immediately jumps to the speed to cut across. My foot that was on his hip is going to come into a reverse on the heave hook. So I bring it from off his hip, I'm going to curl it in, okay, just at his right hip. Okay. My foot that was on the bicep, I'm just going to put it on his hip, here. Again, Carl is looking to get his cut across path, he's looking to bring this knee across. So all I'm going to do is, I'm going to um, put a little bit of pressure. Jiu-Jitsu is all about action reaction. So I'm going to push Carl away from me. Okay, and sometimes the reaction is to push back into me. And when I feel that momentum, I'm going to pull with my hand and the collar. I'm going to stuff this. I'm going to bring Carl on top. And we're going to do that um, elbow sweep. So I'm bringing my knees towards my chest as I kick him all the way over. I'm going to go to the crawl space. And if you're in here for tomorrow night's class, we can show you how to pass from here. Okay, we'll just here. So, from close guard, I always get my grips. Before I open my guard, I put my feet on the hip. I move back so I'm hip escaping to create that space to get inside. So, I'm looking to attack this. The open elbow with the only part of triangle and stuff. So I put my foot on his bicep, I create those pressures by pushing, pulling with my hands. Maybe he gets this grip and I want to deal with that away, but it's, before I do that, he immediately jumps to his feet here and goes for that cut cross pass. So I want to put my, my foot that was originally sorry, on his hip, I'm going to bring it across and put in a reverse style heat hook. This foot that was on his bicep is going to go on his hip. Okay. And all I want to do is, I want to create pressure, momentum. I'm trying to kick Carl this way. And his reaction is to drive back with his knee. And when he does, I pull. So I'm merely pulling my left elbow to the mat as I stuff this. And I load Carl's weight onto my hips. Okay. And then from here, all I'm going to do is kick my legs up. Does he come on? Okay. Um, I'm on a half guard top. Carl's going to triangle his legs. Here, okay. Carl hits the pass. Okay, foot comes on the hip. 
to get me grips. There's sometimes what happens is when I push him away and I don't feel the momentum of him driving into me, then you can't, you can't hit the sweep. It's, um, it's all about action reaction. But if he's backing away from me, this reverse galahiva immediately is going to go back onto his hip. And then I'm back to this um, Darius open guard control again. If he still has the grip, yeah, the pants here, I can kick to break it and come back. Or if it's super, super hard, I can get this elbow cup. Yeah, from there, kick it through and whack on my own product. There's one more reaction that could happen. It's like grip, he jumps up, yeah, I put him in reverse to the hip of it, foot comes to the hip, I'm pushing him away, but as I bring him to me, rather than getting and loading all his weight onto me, sometimes he may take a little step with this leg here. If he does that, he can come out the back door, so my hand that has the wrist, grabs the pants, this one grabs the leg, bring myself through, grab the belt, your recliner sweep or the options there you get the X line as well. So here hit the position. Carl hits the cut cross. Yeah. Here. As I go to push him away, I bring him to me. It takes a little step. Big score through. But um, just giving you options. We're going to work just this overhead so you can get the elbows in. Okay. From my guard control, here and here, okay. guard gets the grip, gets to his feet, hits that cut cross, I put in my reverse de la Hiva hook, foot on the hip, okay. I kick him away from me, that's the detail. Okay. And when I feel the momentum of him coming through, I load him up. Face. Okay, so there's your galvos, guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.